go in the car? and Nugget also. We are currently in a hotel room waiting for supper. Well, the kids and Mr. Hobbyist are gone to get supper and then I'm gonna take my turn because Nugget is not allowed in the dining area. So we're just sitting in the room right now. We haven't made it all the way to our destination. We just did kind of a a pretty good day of driving today and then tomorrow we will do a little bit more and then are you are you okay why are you making so much noise he is really excited about a new environment but he's making a little bit too much noise so i'm just trying to keep him calm so we don't get in trouble my kids anyway i don't think i've done an intro for this video and yeah i'm gonna show you the diamond painting stuff that i brought but not right now because i'm starving so I'll talk to you guys later. light is terrible my hair is wet it's been a whole thing this is day three and I still haven't taken out my diamond painting stuff we did get here we got all the way to st. Louis yesterday and then as soon as we got here we were hungry we went to a place and ate st. Louis style pizza which was delightful and then on the way back from there we were on our way back to the hotel it started like flooding, pouring, and then we started getting tornado warnings. The traffic was completely slammed. We just basically sat in traffic in the pouring rain for like an hour, and then we got back to the hotel and there was, you know, like what are we gonna do? It's tornado warnings, bad weather, and so the, the kids couldn't get in the pool because bad weather. So we basically came to St. Louis and sat and watched TV all day. So there wasn't really a lot for me to film. I got a few clips, I think, but um, sorry, this is not the finest travel vlog. We haven't really done anything yet, but today we are gonna do stuff. So I will try to get some good footage of that. Right now we're about to go take Nugget to daycare for the first time and I am I'm really kind of stressing about it, but I, I think he's gonna like it. I'm not gonna like it, but We'll, we'll just see how it goes, <laughs> but we are going to go to the arts today, so that should be fun. <laughs>
Okay, so we tried to go to the arch and this one has been before and he says you just walk up there and you get tickets and then you go up. But it's all sold out till like August. We were supposed to book our tickets way before and we didn't. So now we're sitting on the sidewalk waiting for an Uber and we're gonna go to a museum. Do you have anything to say? It's your fault. It's my fault. Nagi, did you have fun at daycare? I think he did have fun. So we did the escape room and we succeeded, though I feel like they gave us a lot of help and I'm not sure if that is normal or if they just felt bad for us. <laughs> Cause we did, we did struggle, but they would always like give us some type of hint over the speakers. Don't know if they're supposed to do that, but we made it out, it was fun. Um, and then we went to get Nugget He's very tired, but he seems to be just fine. And now we are, well, I'm, I'm sitting on the ground at some random like baseball field or something, but this is nearby where the car show is gonna be tomorrow. We had to come pre-register the car and then we are going to, I guess, vacuum it out, but we had a minor incident that required going to AutoZone or one of those car places. So I'm sitting here with the kids in the car while Kenneth goes and gets whatever we needed to fix the car. I don't know. Here's the car and the children. Hello. <laughs> it's a little bit warm out here. I'm sure you can hear Nugget breathing very loudly, but we're doing all right. More fun to be had later, hopefully. And this is why I always wear gray dickies. Thank you.
Hello, do I look disgusting? I feel disgusting. I look at the mud. <laughs> you have probably already seen the car show footage and how Nugget got ridiculously muddy. He discovered that mud is his new favorite thing. And it was raining like really, really, really bad this morning. And so it was basically just a swamp out there where we were having the car show, but Anyway, you probably already saw all of that. I didn't update you yesterday after the incident with the car needing some work. It was an easy fix. He got it done in like 15 minutes and then all was well. And uh, yeah, I think that I've shown you most of what we've done since then. It has been weather-wise a kind of a tough time. Uh, it's raining again right now, so I don't really know what else we're going to do this evening. What what I'm doing right now, I have left the hotel. I'm at Petco. I'm going to go in and get some shampoo because I need to give him a nugget of bath because he is he is very very nasty. And also, he's he's not wanting to eat. I guess because he's in a different environment. He's just not really interested and he he has been eating his supper at night, but he won't eat his breakfast in the morning, so he's only been getting one meal a day. And again, today he wouldn't eat his breakfast. So I'm going to go in, in Petco and see if I can get him like something more enticing, something, but I don't want to do too much because that'll upset his stomach. But I think that I'm just, I'm just going to try something because he's really, he's not being himself. He's kind of drooling. That's not his usual style. He, uh, he threw up a little bit earlier and I'm just, Kind of freaking out a little bit because that's my baby and it was my choice to bring him on this trip and it's apparently stressing him out a little bit and I mean I think that he's been having a good time but I don't think he feels well now and I need to I need to fix it so I'm gonna go inside and get some stuff and I'm gonna hope he feels better. I'm back at the hotel now. Nugget is here. He did not eat his supper but he did eat a treat and he is trying to, you know, steal food off our plates and everything. So he's interested in food. He's just not really interested in his food. So I don't really know what to make of that. It's, it's not that abnormal for Nugget to just not want to have a couple of meals. Uh, it does seem a little excessive, but I think that he might just be a little stressed out. I don't know. What do you think, Nugget? Okay. Maybe he's just tired, but he seems in good spirits, so I'm just letting him be. What a good boy. As far as I'm concerned, what I'm doing right now is literally washing shoes with a toothbrush. Exciting! Because it was so dang muddy today, <laughs> everybody's shoes were like caked in mud. So these are the ones that I've already washed or scrubbed or whatever you call it. Obviously I didn't scrub the bottoms because why? But uh, they were pretty bad. This is my son's shoe. I mean, for one, like that's my baby and look at the size of this shoe anyway, but it is much better now. But since I've only done one, let me show you the other one. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's the situation on the shoes. Thank you, Nugget, for your input. And, uh, yeah. That's the hotel sink. Woohoo! We're doing what we gotta do around here. The kids are in the pool, by the way, with Kenneth. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna clean shoes. And maybe I'll diamond paint. Nugget, would you, would you like to say something? No? No? All right. Second shoe is pretty clean. His were the worst ones. Did I already say they were my son's shoes? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I told you that already. But yeah, they were definitely the worst, probably because he doesn't take any precaution whatsoever and he loved walking through the mud and just stomping right along. Now for my shoes. <laughs> Maybe mine are the worst. I promise I did take precautions though. Jeez, this is terrible. All right, much better. By the way, we did go and like purchase some cheap toothbrushes for this purpose. I don't want y'all to think that I made my children give up their dental hygiene so that we could have clean shoes. 
Oh my gosh, do we actually have diamond painting stuff out? Yes, <laughs> it's the first time I've taken this stuff out since we got here. I know it's like day four, day five, I don't know. I don't know, we're like more than halfway in, but uh, yeah, I haven't done anything. But this is the little bag that I packed. I'm sorry, the AC is making that terrible noise right now. I don't really know why, maybe you can't hear it, but anyway. Uh, this is just like a, it's like a pencil pouch, I guess. I didn't want to, uh, like, okay, let me start over. I've seen on Amazon, there's like a really cute looking little carrying case. It's, it's it like zips around and you like fold it up and there's like a little net where you can like stick all of your accessories and then down in the bottom, there's like these little circular containers that can hold all your drills. But I was thinking that was a little overkill for this. <laughs> so I didn't want to try to order one of those. So I just got this little like cheapo pencil pouch and it opens in two different places, but you can access the larger compartment. Like that's, you know, you can access it all from right here, but this part I thought would be cool for my pins and my tweezers who don't seem to want to be in there very straight, but there they go. Okay, so those are in there. Got my straightener, very important. And then in here, I've got my glasses. Probably the actual most important thing. <laughs> I don't know why I have headphones. That's not diamond painting related, just whatever. Got my tray in here. Bella Art de Nicole tray. What else? Well, like, it's been so long that I don't even remember. <laughs> I haven't taken this out in so long. I've got my uh, Quake Hold putty. I thought that I brought, I thought I brought a cover minder. Maybe I didn't. Oh, so apparently there's little um, pouches. Is that what you call it? Compartments, sections, don't know but I had my cover minder in there. So I didn't really need to bring much. I think that this was perfect for what I did bring. And it, it traveled pretty well. Like, I mean, you can see that that didn't even fall out of that pouch, which means I almost didn't find it because I forgot. But anyway, that is how I packed everything for this small kit. And now I'm gonna actually work on it. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to do that. So actually you guys, before I forget, I wanted to talk about the new releases. I mean, I am gonna do a roundup whenever I get home and I'll probably like go over a little bit of this week's new releases from Diamond Art Club that I didn't get to talk about in the roundup because I wasn't there. But anyway, it's Saturday right now, so it's kind of eating me up that I didn't look at those really thoroughly, but I did see that there was a, a new Hannah Lynn one and oh my goodness, I, I haven't ordered it because I'm just like steadily spending money. It's vacation, so like I'm probably spending money right now. I'm just sitting in a chair, but I bet it costs money. Like I'm in a hotel room, so literally it, it does cost money. But I, I didn't order it yet. I really, really, really want it. I saw there was a new Spangler also, and it's limited edition. The Hannah Lynn is limited edition. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. I really want them. And I said I was on a no buy, but I mean, it's been a long time since we got a handle in and I really, really want it. Maybe I'll wait until I get back home and if it's still in stock, then I'll know it's meant to be, right? Sure.
Nugget. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, silly boy. Hey, man. Hello. It's Sunday. And depending on how I decide to structure this vlog, I probably already showed you a bunch of clips of everything that we did today. Because now it's... I don't know what time it is. Nugget is really not behaving like I want him to. What What do you even want over there? There's not any food. Oh, there's goldfish. He, he likes goldfish crackers for some reason. Goldfish. Nuggets. Oh, he can sit. Good job. Anyway, today we finished up the car show and um, didn't win any awards, but we kind of, after being there and seeing it yesterday, we kind of knew that we wouldn't get an award because it's not really a show for his type of car. It's more of a show for like low rider trucks. And uh, that's not what we have. I mean, we do have one of those, but that's not what we brought to show anyway. So it didn't win anything, but it wasn't disappointing because we realized he wasn't going to win. And uh, then me and my daughter went to Six Flags, which you probably noticed because I probably put those clips in. Uh, it was a good time. I learned that I do not do roller coasters, which I learned when I was younger, but I haven't been on one in a while. And I thought I would try it again just to see if maybe, maybe age made it better. No. Nope. No, it does not. So maybe I have a concussion. I don't know. I banged my head on the back of the seat during one of the coasters and I probably don't actually have a concussion, but I'm being really whiny about it because I was terrified and I never want to do it again. <laughs> but anyway, this is our last night in this hotel. Uh, we are leaving out in the morning and we're going to do a day of travel tomorrow, kind of a shorter day of travel. We've got one child that gets kind of car sick, so we've really divided up these travel days for a long time. So uh, we're gonna do a little bit of travel tomorrow and then a little bit of travel again the next day and we will be back home. I kind of miss my bed, I gotta say. Nugget, how about you? You miss your bed? How about that goldfish that you didn't eat? You're just gonna cherish it for a while? I get that. Anyway, kids are at the pool now with Kenneth having a great time, I am going to actually diamond paint. Okay, y'all, I have actually finished this kit. I'm just trying to straighten it a little right now. I'm not having much luck with that, but I don't think it looks too bad anyway. But isn't it cute? Oh my goodness. Oh, I love Winnie the Pooh. Nugget's trying to bark over here at absolutely nothing. He's so offended that I would interrupt him. Anyway. Okay, I'm really tired now. It's almost time for everybody to get back from the pool. But yay, I finished. I can't believe I found enough time to be able to do this. And I'm just gonna straighten up some more until I feel better. <laughs> I'm too much of a perfectionist. I think I just need to get past it and let it be. I think even the camera is closer than viewing distance. So 
it doesn't look that bad on the camera, but I keep leaning over it really closely and I'm like, oh, 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 that one's crooked, that one's crooked. And I just, I need to stop doing that. I know, I know that I do, but I can't help it. I'm gonna just do this for a little while longer and then I'll leave it alone, but there's my finish. Good morning. <laughs> We're in the car getting ready to head out. We're, uh, I think I already said that we're driving like halfway towards our house today. The weather is beautiful. I'm wearing a hoodie, which I think I was wearing yesterday too. <laughs> but anyway, ever since it stopped the horrible rains, it has been really nice outside. Very nice for like late May. So I've been delighted to wear a hoodie I won't get to wear long sleeves again till probably like November because Mississippi is just not a place where it gets cold unfortunately but it's really nice right now and we're about to load up the Cadillac onto the trailer and then we can head out while Nugget just casually sits <laughs> in my lap hey what you see you see some other people Okay, All right, we're not gonna bark at him? Wow, that's a first. We have made it to our destination for the evening. So we're like halfway home now. And the kids and Kenneth have gone to do like go-kart racing or putt-putt golf or, I think it's a whole thing where you can do all that stuff, but uh, no dogs, so. I'm here at the hotel with Nugget, and he's been cooped up in the car all day, and so have I, honestly. And he's about to start barking at me because he wants to go outside and do some exercising, so we're gonna go for a little walk. back from our walk and I think I'm going to start a book because I finished my diamond painting and so I don't really have anything else to do. I watched a show about aliens <laughs> on TV and I feel like uh, that was not a good use of that half hour of my life so maybe a book would be better. I don't know how much you guys want me to tell you about the books that I'm reading, but this one's called The Book of Cold Cases. It's by Simone St. James, and I really, 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 really like Simone St. James. Whoops. That's coming out the dust jacket a little bit. Um, this is, uh, this is the newest one from this author. I just got it from Book of the Month, like, a month or two ago? This month? Last month? I don't, I don't even remember. I don't even remember, but it's a new release, and I don't know a whole lot about this book in particular, but I know that Simone St. James typically does two timelines. There's like a modern day, typically female protagonist, and then there's like a female protagonist from the past or a set of protagonists. And then there's usually like a supernatural thing that's happening or seemingly supernatural, but, um, a lot of times in thrillers, you will see an author, like, present this supernatural type of storyline, and then by the end, they've explained it away. And Simone St. James doesn't do that. She just kind of leaves you with, like, did that, did that really, was, was there really a ghost? Or, you know, and I, I like that a lot better than, like, that really neat resolution. I, I would rather have some kind of, like, mystery still left out there. Um, maybe, maybe I would be more into horror novels than thrillers. I, th I think that Simone St. James kind of borders those two genres. But anyway, I've spoken about it for way too long if you don't care about books. I'm just, I'm gonna read that now. <laughs>
I'm so glad <laughs> that we're home. Um, I'm sitting on the floor, don't ask. Um, we are in the process of unloading vehicles. Well, unloading the stuff from the vehicles, unloading the vehicles from the vehicle from the trailer. <laughs> it's a whole thing. I am really just wanting to sit down and diamond paint <laughs> in peace. It's really, it's really all I need. Um, Nugget is really happy to be home. He's doing well. He already ate a full meal. I think I said earlier in the video that he was not eating well and having a hard time. He, he did, that did resolve and he ate and felt better for the rest of the trip, but he wasn't eating like he normally would. Uh, but he's, he's already eaten a big plate of food since we got here. He is laying beside me, but I probably can't get him in the shot. So he's here though. And uh, I guess this is the end. Is this the end of the vlog? I don't know how long this is. I feel like I took a gazillion five second clips. So this might only be like five minutes long, but maybe there's enough here. Um, I'm glad that you guys came along with me. It was a fun time. I know that uh, trips are sometimes exhausting and I feel like I vlogged during my most exhausting <laughs> or exhausted um, times. I don't know if that, if it came off that way, I haven't watched back any of it yet, but if it did, I, that's, it wasn't a bad trip at all. It, it was a fun time. Yes, I, I am exhausted, but um, it was still fun. The family had a good time. I had a good time. Nugget, I, I really do think he had a good time. I think it was a successful trip for him. I, I almost feel like the only problem with bringing a dog is that other places don't allow dogs. Like Nugget would have been fine everywhere we went. It's just that he wasn't allowed to go. So we had to split our family up and we couldn't all enjoy things together because somebody had to stay with Nugget. So, you know, that's not really, that's not Nugget's fault. He's a good boy. <laughs> I think we all know he's a good boy. Anyway, um, thank you for joining me and my family on this wild ride for the past week. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.